greetings. This is a journey that I traveled several years ago to the four corners of the United States. The four corners refers to four states where they butt up against each other in a perfect 90 degree angle to each one. Uh, those four states are Arizona, Utah, New Mexico, and uh, Colorado. Um, it's kind of an interesting journey. It's most, it's a lot of places there are desert, uh, but there are a lot of changes in altitude also. Uh, this was a, uh, a intense workshop of uh, 14 days. We traveled around and checked out a lot of the Native American sites. Uh, there's, it's all mostly uh, national park uh, areas of the Nenesazis and um, other Native American tribes that were there many, many years ago. One of the places that we went was at Eagle Rock, which is this one here. And it's uh, another uh, ancient uh, Indian site also. It has a lot of energy there. We were able to go there during a rainstorm, which was an interesting thing. They allowed us in by special permission. Uh, that's where I had my first encounter into a ancient Native American being that traveled with me for the rest of the trip and sometimes pops in and kicks me in the ass once in a while. It's a spiritual term for those of you that haven't had that experience. Uh, so there's been various places that we traveled. I am not going to really describe each and every location. Uh, we've been on the Navajo Reservation, uh, which was another interesting event. We did a channeling session in which I channeled an ancient Native American uh, being that was a part of the Council of the Twelve where 12 of us had actually channeled the different energies. It was a very moving experience. I cried and I cried and I cried after that uh, experience. And it was, uh, it's something that I'll never forget. Uh, so this was a very interesting trip. If you're into the, just the plane, the rock, it's, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of it there. Uh, the way that they, were using the uh, building dwellings to protect themselves from the elements and nature uh, in the sides of cliffs. It's quite fascinating. The, uh, the park that was in Utah, I believe, is the older version, and where they kind of perfected their techniques, they probably moved down to the other locations and built much better substantial uh, structures. It's a very beautiful country out there. We rented uh, RVs and traveled um, throughout the area in uh, RVs, which is a, a really nice way to see the area. And uh, yeah, offered its own challenges for those of us that haven't traveled that way. Most of us hadn't, so it was, uh, it was quite the interesting thing. I hope you enjoy the pictures. Uh, there's a lot of them. And uh, you can feel free to stop, pause it at any point if you want to look at one in particular. If you have any questions, you can put comments below. Uh, I'll try to answer them the best I can. And, uh, and just enjoy. Oh, uh, the Native American flute playing in the background is myself uh, playing the drum and the flute, um, which I actually had brought with me. I brought the flute with me, and I would sit up on the top of these... Uh, uh, these uh, things and play my flute and it would echo uh, you know around the uh, the hills there um, 
some of these climbs were a little too much for me to do myself and uh, so I would stay back and let the group go and I would stay up there and wander around take some pictures and um, play my flute which was very much enjoyable. Ta-ta!